Welcome back to Real Life Ura. Now, the title says Xbox. We're actually playing on PC, as you can see right here. But the thing is, it works for Xbox, and I just thought it'd be easier because I kept running into the situation of it becoming nighttime, and then it would rain after I would wait all the time for it to become daytime. So we're just going to do it right on here for you guys. So basically, today is we're going to be building a road. So go ahead and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to be building a road. Now, all you can build this legitly on Xbox and everything, so there'll be no difficulties or worries or anything like that. But this is a road design that is actually pretty cool and I've been sticking with for a while. You're going to need some cobblestone slabs, some stone stairs, you can grab some grass blocks, and wherever it is, it's up here, uh, stone bricks, okay? And then we're also, this won't be until later, so we'll put it to the right of our hotbar. We're going to need some fences and some leaves. We'll use regular oak leaves because they still look pretty cool. And then we're going to need some bone meal as well. You'll see why in a little bit. But basically, we're not going to be building the stove fronts or anything. We're just going to be building the actual road that goes along with it. So... What you need to do is, um, you can either have this all set up above ground or below ground. Um, you'll see what I mean in a second. We're just going to do a small strip area like this, okay? And we're going to have the road so there is a center point, which will be right here. But, you know, it doesn't really matter. You don't have to have a center point because we're not going to do any of the cheap, um, black and white, uh, sort of road strip thing that looks like a road with the lines and everything. But we're going to have a little bit more classy and it's not going to be such as cartoonish as um, that uh, style is. So we just need to get rid of the rest of this stuff right here. Okay. And then you can, around in the three area right here, you can go ahead and you can place the stone slabs. Now you can make this as wide or, you know, as long as you want, as long as you need or as wide as you need. Um, really up to what you're building. But you just got to fill this all the way here almost done oh got a little bit of lag right there okay now you need to take your stone uh, cobblestone stairs and you need to place it we're going to bring it all the way down to the very edge and that's going to be on both sides so we're going to turn right around and we're going to do the same thing There you go. So this is the actual the road piece. You can see the sto uh, the stairs. They got rid of the corner piece basically, only this one fourth of the block. So it makes it, it gives it that really good feel of that's the curb and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Now you're gonna go want to go ahead and you're gonna want to break down the sides here. And this is why I said you can go ahead and you can do this above ground as well because it's not really you can like uh, you can place all the pieces like above ground like this you know and have the things like that. It's just, I think it's a lot easier and more, you know, realistic if you do it in ground for our situation that we're doing. Let's put that grass block back. And we're also, we're going to add an illusion for this one. We're going to go ahead and we're going to have a corner piece. But, you know, this could be for a corner piece that you normally just do for a road or anything if you're doing an actual city. Or if you're just working on, like, a certain block in the, uh, the area. So we'll fill this side back in. And we'll just have it so it turns um, instead of having the rest of the road. So we'll do this sort of like a turning road instead, actually. But that means we're going to have to break this a little bit and go one block deeper. Like so. Because then you still got the three wide um, actual uh, pathway. Because you want to, when you do turns or anything, you want to make sure that it's the same amount so it doesn't look weird. Um, it doesn't look like at certain turns and point, uh, it's getting sm the road's getting smaller. Um, because that just adds for a bad effect. Um, so the the actual stores and stuff, they can be right here uh, where this sort of outline is. 
and you know go all the way down there whatever so right here we're going to since this uh, like little piece is not goes and stretch all the way down there we're not going to do anything of a thing you'll see in a second but um you'll see what i mean in a second but we're not going to be do doing any of that so right here we're actually going to break it off and do leave it so there's so there's grass that's four wide and it is five long as you can see one two three four five and bring this back and then we're gonna have this for I think three or four let's do four and then we're gonna do more grass one two three four five it's gonna be the same length and everything which will be kind of necessary because you'd want it to look very similar and we we went with the four spacing okay that sounds good one two three four let's get rid of that and my mistake this needs to be brick and this is one two three four five okay we'll just put it here so we can see the the difference um we'll extend this out one more so you can so it's not just flat grass meeting up with grass um in this piece so that's basically you can do this on both sides and it looks really nice as you know sort of realistic with the storefronts and everything because uh, it's got little patches of with the stuff with the grass and everything but what you can do is you can go ahead and you can take the fences and place it wherever you want. I sort of like having them in the front. Go three up, and then on this piece, you're going to bring it over like this. And sort of just do a casing around without any of the corners. Bring it up two. And then up like that. That signifies sort of a, one of those little tiny trees that are still growing. The fences act as a nice little you know, stick figure for the, for the actual tree. And a little bit of lag. We, we dropped down to 20 frames per second there, which is horrible. But um, let's keep going like that. You can do a few different shapes and stuff. You can mess around with that. Then you can just put some grass here and everything, make it look nice, do whatever you want with some flower beds, and then have your actual storefronts right there. So that's really it, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.